Coming up, is it worth it to buy app downloads on Google Play? Well, I'll show you some data and the impact it had on keyword rankings. Stay tuned. What is up App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.co, the place you go when you want action-packed content in the app business. And today, I wanna to talk about buying incentivized downloads, and especially on Google Play. As you guys all know, on Google Play, Google actually publishes the number of downloads you have for your app. So it's advantageous to have a high download number. And if you got a bit of a budget, I think it makes sense to buy some incentive downloads purely to move that number up and down, right? Because you don't want people looking at your app and seeing 10 downloads, mm, I'll pass and moving on. So I'm gonna share with you a case study that we did for a client of ours and then impact it had on your keyword rankings and then what it actually, you know, if you are considering buying it, is it worth it? So we're gonna kind of give you our thoughts on whether it's worth it or not, all right? So let's get into the data. All right, so I don't wanna expose the client at all, right? So I'm gonna to try to hide everything related to the client, but I wanna just show you what happened. So we bought 5,000 downloads for $500, okay? $5,000 for $500, about 10 cents CPI. And we did it through the Philippines. Because on Google Play, you know, it doesn't really matter. So let me just show you this. It doesn't matter. We just want this high, this install number to be high, right? And so here's what happened. On the 19th, we drove the 5,000 downloads. But as you can see, almost everybody is uninstalling. So of the 5,000, you know, almost all of them uninstalled eventually. So from that standpoint, you're not gonna get really good users from that standpoint, okay? Now the idea is when you're buying incentivized downloads is you can get really cheap downloads. And so if you're running other campaigns that are on the higher end, you can combine them all at once to really spike the app stores, right? So that's the approach that you have to take on this. Now, the things that you have to know for an incentivized downloads too are one, if you're gonna run it on iOS, depending on the platform you use to buy these downloads, you're gonna need some tracking so that they can see how many downloads they've driven for you, right? On Google Play, you don't need tracking. We were able to do this without any tracking, so apps flyer or tune type of tracking. We did just through the normal Google Play. And I just wanted to run this test just to see what would happen if I were to buy these instant downloads. So I was willing to spend the $500. Okay. So not really worth it from a user perspective. You got the downloads. Now, great if you just want this install number on your Google Play listing to go up. All right, so let's see what happened to the keyword rankings. Now I'm just pulling up data from App Annie because these are App Annie's gonna expose all the keywords we're ranking really high for, right? And so here, as you can see, not much movement. 19th is where we got the downloads. This keyword did not move at all. It stayed flat. It did go up a little bit more. And so I was like, hey, I wonder if, because we have the higher download number, are we able to increase keyword rankings? And it's like, uh, it's hit or miss here. So on this, for this particular keyword. So let me find out from what it's doing today. So for the same keyword, let's, let's run it for, as of this recording, what's happening. So I'm gonna add this keyword in here. Oh yeah, this keyword. So now this key, this same keyword is actually, so here, let me pull it up from all the dates. So we're gonna pull it up from the 19th of when we actually, now let's do the 18th of when we run it. And let's do it to today as of this recording. All right, let's look at this keyword. Okay, so this is the keyword that we've been monitoring. We went, here's when we ran this campaign on 19th. Okay, so we did get a little bit of boost, right? Started going down a little bit. So these are probably just app updates, right? Then we disappeared. Now we've been working with an influencer to promote this app. So we're starting to see more and more downloads come in through. And so now we're starting to see the keyword ranking really high because now we're getting reviews and downloads. So what I would say net net would be the downloads numbers do impact your keyword rankings. And so if you are purely looking to do, you know, get that download number up within your app store, the Google Play listing, and 
hopefully help with your keyword rankings. Now, again, we haven't run this incentivized campaign. We've just been working with an influencer and that's why we've been able to drive the downloads and reviews for this app. See, we see tremendous amounts of reviews, but we've got over 900 reviews because we're working with an influencer now and the download numbers have got shot up ever since we started working with the influencer. But I'm gonna run another test because I want more data. But right now it looks like early indications are there was a slight difference in the keyword boosting, just a very small one. So it's not like we went from, we went from pretty much 160s to 105. And now, because of the influencer and the reviews, we're starting to be at 3741. And we haven't changed anything when it comes to the app name and the short description and all that stuff. So we haven't really done much since then. So to recap and summarize, I do think it's worth it if you want to have a higher downloads count on your Google Play page. I think it's definitely worth it. I was able to get 5,000 for just $500. So really easy in terms of low cost download driving that. I do think it's worth it. I'd have to run more tests on the keyword rankings, but obviously that does help. But I think reviews would actually help more. So if you're able to get reviews, that would help more. I don't know what the break off is. I don't have enough data to say, hey, you know, once you get to the 10,000 to 50,000 mark on your Google Play listing, that's when I'd focus on reviews, for example. I don't know. I don't have that data yet. I can run some tests, but right now I do think when we ran our test, I do think it was worth it just to get, like it just said 50 to 100, sorry, just said 50 to 100 on our Google Play listing for a lot, the longest time. And then after we ran this, obviously it said 5,000 to 10,000. And now it says 10,000, 50,000 and so forth. So if you're able to continue driving it, it does help out in the long run and then buying reviews and so forth. So I would just stagger the process, downloads, reviews, downloads, reviews, and so forth. All right, hope that was helpful. If you like this video, hit thumbs up comment on it. Let me know what kind of co topics you want me to cover. And lastly, the thing I would say is if you love this content, you want to learn the inside secrets of what we do for our clients, some of the different tests that we are running, then go sign up for App Masters Academy. This is a brand new thing that, okay, I got to stop saying brand new, but it's been launched for over a month. We just published the Apple feature strategies that we've helped clients get featured by Apple. I think it was five in this year alone and then one in August. And then we're gonna be publishing new courses, especially on iOS 11 stuff for ASO and then Google Play on ASO too. I feel like I'm a lot stronger on, on iOS, but Google Play, we're running a ton more tests like these campaigns that I just showed you to figure out like what's gonna be working and what's not working on Google Play, all right? So if you wanna get access to all our courses, all our different growth hacks, go to appmastersacademy.com for one low monthly price. It is appmastersacademy.com. All right, I'll see you on the next video.